Assalamu alaikum, uh, my name is uh, Salim Isop and this video is it's a basic video uh, highlighting my position. Number one, a warning. If you ever come across a person called Yusuf Ismail in debating, be very careful. Watch your words, watch your position as well, because he will manipulate your words and flood them onto, onto the group and basically distort your meaning, your meaning. Let me give you an example, and I obviously have proof of this in writing on the WhatsApp group. He asked the question, or made the statement, can Allah create another Allah, astaghfirullah. For me, the question itself is blasphemous, okay? The problem that I have as a person, I believe in an Allah that has unlimited capabilities, unlimited power, Allah can do anything. How do you reconcile? On one side, you, you, you ask the question, can Allah create another Allah? And uh, on the other side, you have a, a, a situation where you believe in an all-powerful Allah who can do anything. If you say he cannot, how can he, be all the, how can he then be all-powerful? If you say he can, then, the, then you basically, for me, it's blasphemy. I cannot conceive of a situation where Allah will do this kind of thing. I cannot conceive of a situation where Allah will, will beget would get a son. What Yusuf did was, he said, Allah cannot. So I asked him, when Quran does he say so? He quoted, I think, Surah Maida or one of the other uh, surahs, and I said, okay, show me the verse. And after some time, he couldn't produce it. There is not a single verse in the Quran where Allah says, cannot, in relation to what we were discussing. So basically, he put a word into the Quran that didn't exist in any of his verses. So, so I asked him to retract because he put a word into the Quran that didn't, that wasn't there. He blankly refused to retract. What was the word that Allah used? Allah said it is inconceivable. Inconceivable. That means we cannot conceive of a situation where Allah will do such a thing. And that is the perfect, perfect, of course it comes from Quran, you know, it is the perfect answer. We cannot say cannot simply because it's not in the Quran. We cannot say he can because in my view, it will be blasphemous. The correct answer that Allah gives us to answer these kinds of questions is that it's inconceivable. But what is the problem? The problem is you have a man who has injected a word into the Quran that's not there that refuses to retract it. He refuses to retract it. The character of such a person. Now you've got to look into the character of such a person. Allah knows the character. Because Allah says in the Quran to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or to us that if Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam changed the Quran, Allah would take him, astaghfirullah, Allah would take him by his right hand and cut off his iota. This was the threat to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What would be your condition and my condition if we change just one word of the Quran? What would be our condition where we knowingly in a group change it and we refuse to retract it? What is the condition of that person who refuses to retract it? Do you think he can change my word, word that I'm saying on the video now, words that I've written, uh, written, words that I've spoken? If he can change the words of the Quran, my words mean nothing. He will do it in an instant. And that is exactly what he does on the, one of the open Islamic groups. And you have others who support him. Others who support him on this. So, beware. Protect, basically, Allah, Allah's image, Allah's word, and protect Allah's messengers. For the record, me, Salim Ito, I am a believer 100%. I believe in Allah. I believe in all his messengers. And I believe in his message. And I will use every means that is available to me to protect this, including against the lies of the likes of Yusuf Ismail and others who try and basically distort the word of Allah. And to win arguments, they will distort the Quran and they will distort our words that we speak as believers.